Okay, I'd like to welcome director Paul Goodwin, producers Helen Milan and Sean Hogan, who are here today to talk about their new film, Future Shock, the story of 2000 AD. So, welcome guys. Thank you. So just tell us a little about what the film's going to be about. Um, it's basically a feature length documentary detailing both the history of 2000 AD, which has obviously been, you know, been running for 35 years now and is a massively important comic in the UK, um, but then also detailing the influence it's had on sort of comics and both pop culture at large. It's sort of like, you know, this scrappy little comic that's still on a fairly cult level mm. has produced so many people who both changed comics but also had a big influence in terms of you know, film and music and everything. Mm -hmm. And yet it's still kind of relatively unknown to the world at large. It's sort of, you know, it never really crossed over to the US or anything like that. Yeah. So, and we just kind of thought it's long overdue that someone actually told this story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting thing that so many of the kind of top creators in comics in the US, most of them cut their teeth at 2000 AD. Mm. You know, everyone from kind of Mark Miller, Grant Morrison, all these people, Alan Moore, they all come from 2000 AD so mm -hmm. especially with the kind of American market you've got this whole generation of people who know 2000 AD writers and artists but don't necessarily know the comic itself and we kind of want to change that mm -hmm. yeah we want to put something together that you know has um, deep insight for for hardcore fans of, of people that know the comic yeah. already but is you know fun and, and entertaining and I think sends anyone out of there at the end saying you know what, I'm going to check out a, mm -hmm. a, a prog, you know. So who have you approached to appear in the documentary so far? Well, I think the first big name on our list was Pat Mills, you know. And so, you know, Pat was really cool and we spent a, a, a whole day over at his place. Anyone, and, uh, yeah, I mean, anyone who doesn't know, Pat Mills is the guy that's created 2000 yeah. AD right. and still writes for it and mm -hmm. has been like there the whole time. So he's obviously a massively important figure and... Someone who maybe doesn't always get his due because he never went to the US really. He's kind of like done bits and pieces, but like wasn't Alan Moore, didn't really go over to the US. Still working here, mm -hmm. still at 2000 AD, and yet is very articulate and very passionate. So he was, mm -hmm. he was always our first name on the list. And a lot of the kind of really interesting stuff about 2000 AD that sets it aside from a, a lot of other comics in terms of its kind of politics and its subversive nature, that at its core kind of comes from Pat. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that he really wanted to be there and kind of still is, still characterises the comic today. Yeah, yeah, and we've cherry-picked, you know, some of the fan favourite contributors mm -hmm. over the years, some of the important, most important writers, and, you know, I figure we're, we're probably about halfway through the production, right. so there's still some names to get, but, you yeah. know, we've got some great stuff from some of the guys who've come and spoken to us already. Yeah, we just got back from interviewing, um, we just were at Edinburgh, yeah. and kind of one of the biggest names who kind of cut his teeth at um, 2000 AD, who kind of went on to become, well, obviously for Sandman, but also as a novelist was Neil Gaiman, who we were speaking to, yeah. um, who was kind of wonderful and was a perfect example of the amount of goodwill that there is toward kind of 2000 AD, I think, mm. Mm -hmm. kind of in the industry. So many people who, you know, it's like almost like the Roger Corman of mm. the British comic industry. Are you finding everybody's really willing to come forward and talk about their experiences on the comic? It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. You know, I mean, we, we, not only the contributors themselves, but people that have been influenced by it seem mm. so up for any anyone that's kind of had it in their lives at some point yeah. seems to be ready to sort of say, "I'd love to come and talk to you." You know, it, it's been really impactful, and I loved it. And uh, yeah, the goodwill is incredible. We've had emails out of the blue from people in Hollywood and all sorts mm. of things. You know, I've got two thousand eighty stories. I've right. done this. I've done that. I'd love to speak to you if you're interested in talking to me. You know. And so even even Pat, yeah. we kind of Pat Mills was the first major interview we did, and we didn't want to take the piss. You yeah. know, we went in and we knew this was going to be like a fairly. We we had a lot of stuff we wanted to talk to him about. We went down to you know he was he took us into his home and all this sort of thing. And I you know I said to him at one point I was like look Pat, this might be a bit lengthy, but if at any yeah. point you're getting fed up with it or you want us out, just say. And he was like no, this is long overdue. There's lots <laughs> to be said. And yes, he had a lot to say. Yeah, we we we, to we, say we were at his house for about eleven hours. <laughs> you know, the, the cameras were melting down yeah. and everything. You know, um, but it was all great stuff. You know, he was mm. just had so much to say. And was so passionate about it, uh, and it's like people really do have a lot to say about two thousand AD, and you know, mm. it's great to hear it. Yeah, but I'm guessing it's not just going to be talking heads, and this is the history. It's going to be the whole influence and 
Yeah, yeah. I think we want to get into, you know, we, we yeah. certainly want to talk about, you know, films that have been influenced by it and all this kind of thing. And it's just because it has been so important and people don't realize it. So, you know, those of us who are in the know, you watch stuff and you go, yeah. that's a bit 2008. The obvious one that we, everyone talks about is Robocop. Yeah. But you just you see it all over the place, and you see its influence and its attitude and all this kind of thing. And we just want to point this out to people who don't necessarily know about it. Mm. And say, look, this is really important. It's it's you you don't necessarily know it exists, yeah. but you love it. You love it even though you don't know it. Mm-hmm. So I imagine it's going to be an absolute nightmare to, to edit. <laughs> 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 well, well, you know, the, you won't be seeing Paul much for the next year yeah. or so. Basically. We're going to come out a bit paler. Yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't enjoyable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we all we all come from a place where we fucking love it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's it's a great book, and it all impacted on our lives massively. So it's just not a chore. You know, it's a lot of work, but it's it's, a, it's you know loving every minute of it. It's great. Asking that in six minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, so you're kind of about halfway through doing interviews at the moment. When do you expect? Or hope to, to finish the film. Um, I, I I have been told that uh, Fright Fest are very keen to have a premiere right. here next year. You know, hopefully with some talent and all this kind of thing. So yeah. I think you know that, that's what we're working towards. Yeah. The guys want it. We want to make it happen. And I'm yeah. sure we could get some people along to sort of you know do yeah. a discussion afterwards. So that's definitely what we're working towards. Great. Oh well, fingers crossed. We hope to see you back here again next year for Fright Fest. So do we. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.